Hi guys, welcome to Algebra 2, Lesson 2-1. We'll look at example 1 in this video um, about transforming a quadratic function. So how are transformations of the graph of f of x equals x squared related to an equation representing another quadratic function? So the vertex form shows three different ways in which the graph of the function um, f of x equals x squared may be transformed. So please make a note of this vertex form because it's very, very important and useful. So all the, all the letters with colors will give you key information about um, the quadratic function. So if the quadratic function is in a vertex form, um, A will determine the direction of the parabola if it opens upward or if it opens downward or if it's going to be compressed or um, vertically stretched or compressed, okay? So A is always going to be vertical stretch or vertical comp uh, compression, okay? And if A is negative, then it could also be reflection, okay? But um, yeah, if it's reflection, that changes your direction of the parabola, right? If it's vertically reflected, that means you have a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, we learned this in lesson 1-2, uh, transformations of functions. So if you're not familiar with this, please go back and um, relearn and try to remember what we have uh uh, what we have done there. Okay, um, and h over here is the value of h that determines the horizontal translation. And note that it's x minus h. So if your h is negative, your, um, your function will look like it's positive, right? So this positive 2 is not actually saying that h is positive, it's saying h is negative because in order to be plus 2, your h has to be negative in order to make it an additional statement, right? And k is just uh, just k. So whatever you see um, is going to be the value for k because it's plus k, okay? And it represents the vertical translation. So um, you, so, uh, because your parent function starts with zero comma zero as your vertex and you, uh, whatever translation you have will translate your vertex to that point, your H comma K would be the vertex. Okay. So make a note of that as well. Vertex is H comma K and the equation, um, in the vertex form will uh, help you figure th these information out um, in seconds, right? If you get used to it. So let's look at some examples. Um, part A has g of x is equal to negative two, one over two times parentheses x plus two squared. So that means you have A of negative one over two. I said that, re uh, remember that negative is reflection. So you have both reflection and vertical compression. Okay, so the equation will be um, looking downward because it's reflected across x-axis and it'll be vertically compressed. And so um, that's what negative one over two tells you. And H here will tell you the graph will move two units left. So after you move two units left, you can um, reflect it across the x-axis and you can uh, compress vertically which means horizontally it will look like it's, uh, it's, it's stretched. All right, and part B, from your parent function f of x here, it is not reflected or anything, so it's gonna open upward, but it's gonna vertically stretch. So it's gonna look like it's going to be horizontally compressed, okay, um, by two. And you have h of positive one and k of negative one of uh, negative three. So it's gonna your graph is gonna move one unit right and down three units. So your vertex would be one comma negative three. Okay, so vertex here would be negative two comma zero. All right, so um, that would be the key features of. 
transform transforming quadratic function. So let's look at try number one. Describe the transformations of the parent function f of x equals x squared. Then graph the function. See if you can do this by yourself. Pause the video and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So let's look at um, part A. G of x is equal to negative x plus 2 squared. So you can say that your a is negative 1 and you have h is equal to negative 2. So that means the graph is translated two units left and will open downward because it's reflected across the x-axis. Okay, so I didn't write some words here, but you know what I mean, right? All right, part B will be um, your h equals to one and your k is equal to two. And so they're all positive. That means your equation shows that um, it's translated to the right one unit and up two units and will open upward because there is no reflection. Okay, and if you graph A, you should get your vertex at negative 2 comma 0, and then no other trans, uh, no other stretch of compression, but just a reflection. Okay, and then when you graph B, you will get an H of 1 comma 2, and you will have no stretch. So everything is the same. All right, so that was example one and try one. I'll, uh, I'll continue with the next example in the next video. See you.